entire you know real run of ECW, especially uh, during the pay-per-view era, uh, we seem to be almost connected at the hip. So um, yeah, I mean there is evidence of that I don't know. I think I think that Paul Heyman was was certainly working with Vince, uh, or else we would not have had some of the exchanges we had. I mean. Uh, ECW made an appearance early on on Monday Night Raw, especially leading into the first pay per view with Jerry the King Lawler, etc. So, um, yeah, there is there is uh, there is a lot of evidence of that, and also too, I know Vince had let Paul borrow money, if that in case was the truth. But the other thing I kind of, which is weird to me, is I know Tommy Dreamer lost hundred, maybe a hundred thousand, if not more dollars of his own personal money, of his family money. Um, and to help funding ECW when times were tough, and uh, you know, and I've heard that from other people as well. Chris Candido, um, 